Hello everyone and welcome to HGW Championship Wrestling. Right here on your TV screens via Ben TV, via Nothing Else On TV, and via the Wrestle Rewind streaming channel, wherever you're watching us. Welcome to the show, this one coming to you from Wolverley Sports and Social Tag Team Action. You see the two men on the right hand side of your screen, the Soul Killer and the Fox Catcher taking on the Barnsley Brawler and Dickie Bowen, Dickie Bowen one half of the Tag Team Champions of PWN. Tag Team titles not on the line here. Uh, Barnsley Brawler replacing the currently out of action Nick Flagg in this one. It was originally meant to be the Tag Team Champions, Nick Flagg and Dickie Bowen. We saw at the top of the show what happened last week. Traditional British rules action featuring the Barnsley Brawler and Johnny Rose. That one giving you highlights of what you'll see from the World Fighting Showcase British Heavyweight Championship Tournament. All the matches in that will be fought over British wrestling rules. Six three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout in that one. Tag team action here, one fall. 15-minute time limit. Young Dickie Bowen in the ring. Waiting for the fox catcher to get out of his uh, garb that he wears to the ring. Strange team, this one, of uh, the fox catcher and the soul killer. <coughs> Don't think they've teamed before. Very rare to hear the soul killer getting uh, cheered. Right into the action is Dickie Bowen. And he goes from corner to corner. Big shoulder tackle. Wow. Right to the ribs of the fox catcher. Two great light heavyweights in action here. Forearm right to the chest of the young uh, Dickie Bowen. Rings the arm, does the fox catcher. You can see just to the left hand side of your screen. PWM boss. Yep, our boss here in the network. Mr. Thomas J. Curtis shouting encouragement to his young rookie wrestler and tag team champion, Mr. Vicky Bowen. Referee for this match, the legendary Mr. X. In comes the soul killer for the first time in the contest. Fast-moving action early on in this one. Soul Killer grounds Dickie Bowen. Keeping hold of that uh, left arm of the youngster from uh, Mansfield. Soul Killer working hard on the arm now. Second, second week in a row we've seen the Barnsley Brawler in action. On my show today we've also seen comments from the World Fighting Showcase President Chuck McKinney. Pin attempt from the Foxcatcher. But broke up by the Barnsley Brawler. Chuck McKinney says that on December the 27th at Wolverley Sports and Social Club, 8 p.m. kickoff time there. It will be Survivor Catch, and it will be. It will be PWN versus HGW. The winning team will gain total ownership over the company. Thomas J. Curtis, of course, the boss of PWN, will be in that match and uh, certainly isn't happy about it, I'm sure. He thought it was a pretty safe bet that the company was his. Soul killer now. Distracting the referee. Very clever wrestling from the Barnsley Brawler to use Foxcatcher's legs. To, uh, to push Soul Killer away. A real mishmash team here, the Soul Killer and the Foxcatcher. Normally one of the most hated is the Soul Killer. 
And Foxcatcher is one of those that people love to hate. But when you're wrestling two of the dirtiest players in HCW, like Dickie Bowen and the Barnsley Brawler, especially with somebody like uh, Thomas J. Curtis at ringside, small package inside cradle there on uh, Dickie Bowen from the, from the Foxcatcher. Soul Killer spent very little time in this match. It was all Foxcatcher at the start. But now Foxcatcher's taking the punishment. Hanging on the middle rope. You see, Barnsley Brawler not so long ago was saying how he, he's turning over a new leaf and not breaking the rules anymore. And last week, admittedly, he had a fabulous contest with Johnny Rose. And this week, he's breaking all the rules. I don't know whether it's because he's around young Dickie Bowen, who's sort of bringing him down to his cheating level. We've got a suplex attempt going on here. Backslide, neck breaker, and it is. Very nicely done. Just the two. Foxcatcher really needs the tag here. Cradles the arms for the pin. Just the two once again. In with the forearms, Dicky Bowen. From the corner. Reversed. And in goes Dicky Bowen. Big splash in the corner from the Foxcatcher. Reaching for the tag now. Whoever makes the tag first could well win this one. I'm Mark Punterton bringing you the action for HCW. Here from Wolverley Sports and Social. Tag team action. In comes the Soul Killer. Big right clothesline. One more time. Sends young Dickie Bowen down. From corner to corner he goes. Thrown in hard there. Soul killer. Like a train. Right through Dickie Bowen. Big stomp on the back. Plenty of them from the soul killer. Like I said earlier, very rare to hear the soul killer getting cheered. But when you're wrestling dirty players like Dickie Bowen, the muscles from Mansfield. It's not surprising. Tag in to certainly one of the most popular in HCW today, the Foxcatcher from the middle. Double axe hammer. What we got going on here? Chin lock applied, sort of million dollar dream-esque from the Foxcatcher, David Toro. So successful over the years here in HCW was the Foxcatcher. Just manages to fight out at two and a half. Does young Dickie Bowen snap mares him over? Dickie really needs to make the tag now, and he does. Couldn't have come at a better time for Dickie Bowen. Rope to rope. Huge clothesline from the PWN World Heavyweight Champion, the Barnsley Brawler. Big elbow right to the side of the head. Second one. Taunting the soul killer who comes in. And referee Mr. X urges him back outside the ring. He's not doing the fox catcher any good here. He's the soul killer. Finally, the soul killer gets out of the ring. And we have a tag from Barnsley Brawler to young Dickie Bowen. The 16-year-old sensation of PWN. Ducks the clothesline. And a double clothesline from the Foxcatcher. Taking both members of the network down. Barnsley Brawler rolls out the ring. Dickie Bowen trying to get back to his feet. 
Foxcatcher really needs to make the tag to the Soul Killer. If he does, it could be all over for the network team. Taunted into the ring. It looks like it looks like Dickie Bowen had something in his hand. He's got the shoe of Thomas J. Curtis. That's a three count, and we've got winners. World Tag Team Champion Dickie Bowen and World Heavyweight Champion the Barnsley Brawler. Despite the fact the Brawler said he wouldn't cheat, maybe bent the rules just a little, but it is Thomas J. Curtis's promotion. He does own the place. This is PWN. We've got winners. And it's Dickie Bowen and the Barnsley Brawler. Centre ring now with the boss, Thomas J. Curtis. President of the WFS. Today I am proud to announce two new championships that will be added to competition. The first of these championships will be the WFS British Championship title. We will be sending this title to England to Thomas J. Curtis and the HCW. Upon receiving the championship belt, they will crown their champion any way they see fit. It will represent the WFS in Britannia and the United Kingdom. And remember, we fight strong. Hello everyone, my name is Mark Punterton, the commentator formerly employed by HW Championship Wrestling and PWN Entertainment Limited. I can't believe this is happening, but as you saw at the top of the show, we're now known as AWA, Affiliated Wrestling Alliance. And bear with me a second. Someone's just come into the commentary position. I don't. I'm gonna have to leave. I'm not leaving. I'm going anywhere. I'll take. And I'll, I'll be back in a second. I'm not leaving. I'm not going. Oh, no. I'm going anyway. Ladies. And gentlemen, welcome to AWA, the Affiliated Wrestling Alliance. My name is Dick Witherspoon, your brand new commentator, bringing you AWA each and every week throughout the world. This is the Affiliated Wrestling Alliance. We've got rid of Mark Punterton, and we are bringing you the new era in an age-old tradition, all the history all the legacy of HEW Championship Wrestling, now under the new name and the guidance of one Petey Crockett. This, the very first AWA affiliated contest, is set for one fall. The man on the right hand side of your screen right there, Mr. T.C. Brown from Sirencester. He is taking on the mass wrestling legend Black Demon. The legendary Mr. X is the referee for this one wrestler throughout the world of sport era of the uh, 60s, 70s, 80s. Still gets in the ring now and again. 
Quick on the attack. Right off the bat is the Black Demon with the sleeper hold on T.C. Brown. But Brown cuts him off at the pass. And we have big left-hand shots right to the top of the head. To the turnbuckle. Big forearm smash from T.C. Brown. The legs come up. Will we see the sharpshooter, the move that T.C. Brown has made so popular during his time at HGW, now known as AWA, the Affiliated Wrestling Alliance. All the history, all the legacy, the brand new era of an age-old tradition starts right here. Episode 162, Series 9, Episode 1, here of HGW, now known as AWA, the Affiliated Wrestling Alliance. It is a pleasure to be here in the United Kingdom. My name is Dick Witherspoon. This is AWA Wrestling, now known as World Fighting Showcase Britannia, the new name for what was HGW Championship Wrestling TV. Front first, chest first, into the turnbuckle goes T.C. Brown. Right here on the first episode of AWA, World Fighting Showcase Britannia. Atomic drop from Brown on the Black Demon. Back in the corner again with those left-hand shots like only T.C. Brown can do. Going outside the ring is Brown. What's he up to here? He's going to make a wish. Getting a little fan from ringside. Very popular man is C.C. Brown. Let me just go through the reason why we're called AWA now. It all happened just last night. Anybody that was in attendance at Warverly Sports and Shoshu Club would have seen it. But we will bring it you all next week. You will see it right here on AWA. World Fighting Showcase Britannia. You saw the WFS president, Chuck McKinney, talk about the British Heavyweight Championship. That is coming at the end of January of 2019. We hope you all had a great Christmas and you all have a fantastic new year from us all here at what is now known as AWA. The sharpshooter is put on by T.C. Brown and we have a winner. The first winner in the first ever episode of AWA, World Fighting Showcase Britannia. We're talking about T.C. Brown, a very proud man in the ring right now. The fans at ringside here in Warville are loving him, as they always do, no matter where in the area he goes. Very popular man. See the, cr uh, see the crowd cheering right there, calling the fan that's helped him. He helped him with the wishbone a little bit earlier on. There we go. Certainly, the people's champion is T.C. Brown. Very, very popular man. This is exactly the reason why I'm pleased. The Petey Crockett has got the power back right here in what is now known as AWA. Formerly HCW Championship Wrestling. No more PWN Entertainment Limited. No more guidance from Thomas J. Curtis. That's all for this week. Join us next week when we will bring you Survivor Catch highlights and the reason why we are the AWA. We fight strong.